Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Let's talk. Did you find anything in Oscar's atelier? Um a letter from someone named Mystic Carrion? Oh, not him. Carrion calls himself a spirit medium. His morbid services are something of a fad among the nobility. From what I've heard, it's invitation only. He has a mansion down near the water. A forsaken place, dank and decayed as he is. You must find Mystic Carrion. If he's responsible for this mess, he can bloody well clean it up. Oh, that's all? Wait, 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 wait. Did you speak with Carrion? Oh. Has he provided a cure? Okay, now... Can I do this first? And so... Come on. Hip size. Does that way? Mmm... Alpha. I should teleport them all. We'll see in a second. Yep, everyone is here. Okay, great. So now we can rest. And now we know the not this way. This way. We know the password. To this this damn door. No one is crossed, right? Yep. Set into the mansion's faded exterior, you see the faintest outline of a door. An entrance designed to provide the utmost discretion. Secreta Murtur. The door shudders. It has no choice but to let you inside. Thank you. Mystic and I'm gonna save you. Awaits. Let's go upstairs first, maybe, just in case. Okay, never mind. Hi. You do not have an appointment, yet you seek an audience with Mr. Carrion. drawn to me a wanderer bearing the scent of death you are familiar with the necromancy of fey i have heard the spirits whisper its name few books have the power to send a shiver through the living and the dead tell me what did you make of its contents i still didn't read it um you're familiar with the subject matter. Such a book is for those who make only the shallowest ripples in death dark pools. I inhabit the depths. Clearly these are not waters you know how to swim in. I would hate to be the one who helps you drown. Perhaps one day the book will reveal its secrets to you. Until then, they're best left between its covers. Unless you have any other business with me, I suggest you return to the domain of the living. Give a moment. Astario, you go talk with him. Do you are Again, you dis my client list is full, and you are not on it. Oh. Oh. I know you helped Oscar. I found your letter. The painter. Yes, I remember. He wanted to contact a tormented spirit. I gave him exactly what he desired, and for a pittance, given the complexity of his request. His inability to follow simple instructions is hardly my fault. If he wanted his safety guaranteed, that would have cost him extra. That makes sense. Who was he trying to contact? My clients are guaranteed absolute privacy in their consultations with myself and my spirits. I assume you came to me seeking an exorcism? I can provide you with the means to perform such a ceremony. But you understand, this is my livelihood. First, 
You must do something for me. Can I just pay you instead? So ready to part with your gold? To save yourself the bother of helping someone? Perhaps you are more like my usual customers than I thought. Very well. You may purchase Oscar's salvation. If you can afford it. On um, second thoughts, tell me what you need. Do not worry. It is of an earthly nature. It regards a conduit of mine, Thrombo, who has recently deserted his duties. He has not gone far, but given the sensitivity of his nature, I would prefer that he is not free to roam the city. Return Thrombo's body to me. Then I will give you what you need to cleanse Oscar of his spectral interloper. His body, it sounds like you want him killed? My child, that would be asking the impossible. He is already dead. He is... What do they call them here? Ah, a zombie. A waif I rescued from the jaws of death and gave a second chance at earthly purpose. If he does not value the gift I gave in reanimating that wretched flesh of his, then I will take it back. It is my property, not his. Hmm. Very well, I'll bring you Frambo. You agree to free Oscar. Then, with the spirits herein, our witnesses, the arrangement is made. Three others escaped with him. Though they lack even Thrombo's modicum of intelligence. They can no doubt point you in his direction. Great, thanks. Sure. Very strange tidings. Hmm. We know where they are? No, but I have my suspicions. Why? Um, I need to find those places. I wouldn't say I'm certain, just... Like I said, I kinda remember where it was. Kinda. Um, could be closer to the central. Um, oh, one was over here, so we need to go that way. Um, like, okay, I know you don't see my cursor. One was over here on this bridge. So all I need to do is find that goddamn bridge. Not go a bit further. Not here. Um, oh, kitty. Oh. It was another day in the city of lies, Baldur's Gate, where the people begged for justice until they starved. Two heroes were fated to cross paths that day. Their eyes met. Destiny was calling. And they both answered. Strangers? Only in a fool's definition of the word. It was the start of something incredible. Two heroes on the hunt for justice. No matter the co- All the tall one had to do was say yes. Yes. The tall one had failed the first test. They lacked caution. The cat could have just as easily been a foe as a potential friend. Perhaps... It was simply not meant to be. No. 
this way. Wait. Uh, okay, this is just the way weird way the city is built. I just remember some zombie being over here and that's all. There's one on the cemetery. Wait. Oh, this is counting house. We need to go in there. I need to open, I think, three uh, cases. Boxes? Something. Have you seen what she's doing? Counting gold in front of a beggar. It's like eating bread in front of a starving child. Take it. Thank you, sir. At least some people in this world know kindness. Mm. I'm sorry to ask again, but my family's starving. One. Wealth offers a form of magic. Alas, one I've rarely dabbled in. Oh, this one's free. Never had more than a few coppers in the city. Welcome to the counting house. <laughs> I'm head clerk Mead, honey. How may the fellowship of financiers serve you? A relaxed tone and easy smile, but the halfling's shifting gaze gives it away. Something has him rattled. I'm writing a ballad. The bothered bunker. Hearing what's on your mind would really help. Mm hmm. Can't imagine who would want to hear such a song. But uh, as you will. I'm always. A rather large and heavily armed fellow has accompanied headbanker Glitterbeard down to the vault. He's an unusual sort of customer but the head banker said he'd handle it so it's fine i'm sure we're just fine let me help i'll go check on your head banker you let me rephrase that i will help you That would be most unusual, but then so is our visitor. Very well. Show the guards this temporary vault pass, and should my superior ask, keep my name out of it. Oh, but of course. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> you could at least try to hide the guild account. Nope. Oh, what am I getting myself into again? Bye. Well. Hmm? You've been caught lurking around the Sword Coast's most secure bank without permission. The guards are understandably upset. I'll get out of here. Okay, so not to pass with okay, thank you. Oh, so we're just kicked out. Um, oh, here, here. The count holders only from here. Vault pass. Here it is. Right. <coughs> Descend and know. Upon entering the vaults, you forego the protection of city and church law alike. Which is to say, keep to your own vault and you'll be fine. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I'm... Well. Okay, let's not steal anything just yet. Let's go. 
into any red doors. Mind your manners down here, sir. Titles don't mean much once you're in the vault. Okay. Make it. I don't like how. Just need to see your vault pass, please. What can I expect below? No idea. Our posters out here. Besides his chores and swords, Ed Banker Glitterbeard doesn't like us asking what goes on below. For security, I expect. Sure. Uh, here you are. What's in order? Blessed day to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we we are not in the hmm? red zone. Power Smith Honey, Saint Abantu. Sir Glitterbird has guessed they step out of the walls for the client's privacy. Please refer to the head banker's office. Highest security clearance only. Wish I had a bag of holding. I really hope she she wouldn't have stepped on that. No more water is to be used to clean the floor in front of the main vault. Use prestidigitation if you must clean here. We can't afford any more lightning mishaps with foot pressure plates. There will be no more warnings. Only. Decimals. Only house vaults, uh, custom rules. Do not approach any vault but your own. Make sure of the number before attempting opening. Do not ask a cash guard for help with locks, doors, or carrying valuables. They are here only to observe and to maintain security. No tipping. And following the prior notice attached to the sign. Warning, wet floor. Unsafe to use device powered by bottled lightning. Okay. So, the only thing left to do is open every door. Number six. Please wait here. A staff member will retrieve your items. Okay, so we need to talk to someone who will get that for us. Be wary. This place is trapped. Oh, don't scare me like that. Please don't scare me like that. There is no other room. Uh huh. So we need to know the number. There's also vault number six, I see. It will just kick me out. How can we disable it? Never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it oh? 
我想说这个。Okay, but apparently I don't know what to do with this one yet. Oh, okay, I need some more information. Come on, get over here. I need the number, like four, uh, four digits. That's four times four six. 16 times 9 times 4 Too many possibilities No, it's 9 times 9 times... It's 9 to the power of 4 <laughs> Given that every number can be repeated it can be like nine, 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 nine. Mm, excuse me. If you don't mind, sir, I do believe you have your pass, and I have other customers. The vaults are just downstairs. But, um, okay, I'll leave it for later. Since I have no idea how to use those things. Unless I sold them. I might have sold no there was something about I don't think it was a pass. I have no idea what it was, and that's the problem. Um Let's side go sightseeing. Oh no, there's a group of people. I don't like groups of people. How long you been ill? Ten days, maybe more. God, she's working us to the bone. Can you swim, Starry? I'm not sure, honestly. It's been a couple of hundred years. Oh, you're missing out. Loved it as a kid. Oh, this water looks nasty as hell, though. <laughs> well, uh, it's not called Grey Harbor for nothing. Mm. Oh my goodness. There's so much visit here there's oh my goodness whoa I will mark this down uh, I believe it's here this blank I just oh not here can I move it nope wait it's over here I just don't want to do Check it out in front of everyone. They might not like it. I'm pretty sure they won't like it. Um, this is the brushing mermaid. Lady Jennifer State. Face makers boutique, although he does nothing. The faces. Where the hell are those? Okay, let's go to the cemetery. Which means going to the central wall. 20 minutes in and we've achieved nothing. Hmm. But I'm going the right way. Oh! Mishka. Yeah. Apparently yes. It speaks a feline dialect called Mriar. It wants to know if you're its mother. Oh, it can be. It's me, my son. <laughs> Please tell me we've just got going to ask us another pet. I'm looking around for those the, the zombie that won't ask to hit him. Let flowers say what words whenever can. Come out, sister. 
I will find you. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form, the same that tainted mystic Carrion's chambers. This is one of his runaway servants. Sister always hides from me. She likes to play. I'm playing hide and seek with Frumbo. Can you help me find him? Frumbo said not... Not to tell anyone where we went. We're playing Riffington rules, remember? Which means Frumbo won, and I have to go congratulate him. You were playing too? You must be nice. Like Frumbo. Mm -hmm. He told me what to do, but he said it very quickly. I, I didn't understand. All I remember is... Down the stairs, across the sand, down the stairs, across the sand. Down the stairs, across the sand, the only sand is here? Down the stairs, across the sand. <sighs> That's not too, a lot to go with. There was another one. I wouldn't give you anything that would make sure she has some hair. Maybe he wasn't in here, but did you see Lord Gortash's latest interview in the Baldur's Mouth? All I remember is that he was in some kind under some kind of whoa, 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 whoa. tunnel or arch. Could be somewhere here. Yeah, the place where I... Could be over here. I vaguely remember there was a place that we could go... That there was one hole that we could fall, go down through. There he is. Back for more? I don't mind. You recall where you've smelled this beggar's rotten musk before, in Mystic Carrion's chambers. This is one of his runaway servants. I'm looking for Frambo. Mr. Carrion wants him home. Carrion sent you. Shit. Don't think about trying anything. I'll fight back. Tell me where Frambo is, and it will be like we never met. I suppose that's all right. Thrombo's more of a talker than I am. Thrombo was going to get us a boat, but I haven't heard from him since. He must be somewhere near the water. I just hope he didn't drown. Okay, now I know. He should be fairly close to the place with the boots. Stairs sand, stairs sand. Honestly, it only. I think I read some letters from for him. Someone was speaking about the smell, and so I thought maybe. Maybe we should meet somewhere different. Flynn and the other person. No. If he's not here, I mean. We have stairs, we have sand. I killed a bunch of merfolk here. 
Uh, this way. Come on. But I was supposed to find him and... Oh, there's that then. No, I used that. Never mind. I might have sold it. But it should be okay. I mean, I read it. Hmm. I found something. The person was time was going to get a boat. He must be hiding somewhere near the water. We went to bring back the boat. We found something here. We went down the stairs across the sand. I thought he would be here. Although I don't see any bodies here. Alive or dead. I don't know if this is Sunday. Oh, it could also be Sunday, and there's lots of boats. It would be closer to her house, too. Okay, what? Ah, there's just so much to do. <laughs> and we should. Look for the other, the third zombie. Um, I don't see any weird people here. But I was sure. Did you see a zombie? In the weather. Mm, oh, Simone. Oh, Ben, please work with me. Don't worry about the smell, citizen. Probably just the drains. Nothing to concern yourself with. Wait. Oh. All right. This okay. It's his house. Never mind. Hmm. I guess let's just hope that we will find the last zombie or frombo. There's just no place I can. Um, I can think about to look for him. And now I really don't want to go take a long rest because I know what will happen. Ah, why did I agree? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is it. This is the park where all the fighting happens. All right. Really? Yes. Really, kitty. You, sh you should be more careful. Sooner or later, someone's gonna. What? You 
You know what, since I really don't know, I don't want to know. Don't. What the heck? Oh. Stay away from the gate. Listen to me. If you go any further, the brain will dominate us. We are not ready. Okay. Wait. Oh. Just a question though. How Ah, there's another way. I was wondering how the hell I was supposed to get to Casador before the Elder Rain, but now I see. This is why I desperately need a map. Hello? Oh, no. Hmm. What's that? What's what? Oh, please. Is everyone here? No. Why is Gale? Don't go out. They take it. A short note marked up as a professional sending. A magical message up to of up to 25 volts in order to find the recipient, whatever they might be. No, I don't know what to do, so come back and tell me, or I'll come find you. Death will not protect you, idiot. The path lies before me. Death will not protect you. This is Jahira's house. Do we have a pin? <laughs> no, we don't. Okay, I'm gonna mark this. Pin slot. Wait. This is Jahira's house. I did not expect to find it here. I don't know why. Just kinda assume that. She lived in the quest for us. Please work with me. I know you don't want to, but please. A dark children's picture book featuring a host of animal friends helping one another survive a forbidding forest. A stunningly rendered doodle of young elven girl sitting on a throne. Faint erase remarks indicate that her crown got more jeweled than elaborate fairy iteration. Okay. What's that about? For how long? The only moment you're living in is this one. Worry about the next one when it comes. Okay, as long as I'm not trying to stay too far away from our party, it will be okay. What? Okay. The reason I was stopped, it was so weird. Um, I don't like that. Greetings. Do you seek help? You are in the right place. House of Grief.
Hallo? Welcome to the house of grief. Are you here to be unburdened? Whatever ails the heart, whatever weighs upon the soul, we can help. Unburdened. What does that mean? We release people of the suffering in their hearts, melancholy, anger, self-doubt, troubling memories, and of course, grief. I think you could benefit from our help. In fact, I think you desperately need our help. I sense turmoil in you, even if you cannot bring yourself to admit it. Hmm. Usually God would have been mentioned by now. Is this a scam? Ew. <laughs> Natural 20. You sense a truth behind her words. She genuinely wants to help. However, it seems truth is not the only thing behind her words. Something is being hidden. I desperately need help. What makes you say that? A great deal of people in need have entered that door. In my time, I've come to recognize their suffering. Admitting you have a problem is the first step, the hardest step. After that, we will be by your side. You seem to think you know a lot about me. The insight of an unburdened spirit. I too was once weighed down, but now I am free. Before I came here, I was given to drunkenness, wanton violence, licentiousness of every sort, but now I am saved, as you can be. Oh, oh, no. I just want to trade. Let's see what we have. Mm. Okay, I can sell you some stuff. Oh, okay. Never mind. The house of grief welcomes you. ready to ease your trouble. We enter the strange establishment called the House of Grief that cures people of their grief for a possible unburdening. It seems suspicious. Yeah, but I'm not gonna take part in that. You're eager. Good. But there is a right order to things. Before you can enter, you must agree to the House of Grief's terms. And price. Speak to the attendant by the front. She will put everything in order for you. Then you will be free to enter. Hmm. Ooh, disadvantage. Bad, bad, bad. I already got them permission. You will speak to it if you don't believe me. Hmm. Yeah. Perhaps I should do just that. Should we run? <laughs> Is it true then? You gave that one permission to enter. What are you talking about? Of course not. You know the rules. Sounds like this go- Welcome, friend. Your burdens are soon to be made as light as a feather. Trust me. Hmm. Greetings once again. Perhaps you have had a change of heart? The unburdening can provide succor to all. Okay. It's safe. All right. 
I want to be unburdened, but I want to keep all my stuff underwear included. There is the matter of the fee. A trifling sum compared to the peace we can grant you. Rest assured. I can't afford to be unburdened of anything just now, especially gold. A pity. Perhaps you can find a way to correct that. Better to have a light purse than a heavy heart. Oh well. Luckily we don't have enough gold. Um, unless you have all the way inside. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's leave the house of grief for now. Yes, let's leave it for now. That's all on the side. Mm. I'm poor, okay? <laughs> I've spent a lot for the information regarding the... Oh, I go down here. Uh, regarding information and I must admit that I... Regret it <sighs> because no one wants us oops, to deal with the crown. Okay, let's see, maybe that will be better. Yep. Not suspicious at all. At all. Okay, I don't want to go down there. No. Seriously. Literary sightseeing. Whoa, whoa, mate. This is the last place you need to be. Clear off, yeah? Why can't I be here? <laughs> Two words Guild business. Only an idiot gets between them and their shipments. Okay. Okay, I'll leave it right now. Best idea you've had all day, mate. Where are we? Okay, so we cannot go down here. We can go through. Hmm. What does that leave us with? Going up here to the steel watch foundry. What the actual hell? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, this is cheating, but what the hell was that? I know. I, I know it was a portal, but mm. no. Oh God damn it! Please stop. We've been inside here. No. Oh, this is Lantern. Thank you. Maybe hope for name the Lodge. Right. The 
Oh. It's a scene. All that learned. Whoever did this had no rhyme or reason. Ruthless. Just viciousness. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hmm. Who are you? Afghalag. Brilliant researcher. Philosopher. Hmm. Who killed you? Subject. Gith lad. Pataris. What were you doing? Proving theory. Genetic morality. I was right. Why were you killed? Careless. Skipped. Precautionary. Termination. Where is your killer now? The corpse remains mm. silent. It does not know. Yeah. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. I will find one corpse who will answer me that question. Don't mind if I do. Hmm? What did you see, Gail? That might be worth it. Really? I didn't see what was. There was something around here, I just don't know. All of my hypotheses are just that theories and no more. Unless I can test them under control conditions. I need a viable Gif Yankee egg. I must acquire one somehow. Or. Hefklag is not a serious researcher, just a mere intellectual dilettante. Oh, so ah, this is the place where we brought the egg. Well, we didn't bring the egg here. The young cave bear, killed and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. Hmm. Before we go in there, allow me to save. Oh. Esther, really? Dear Master Hafkalak, I trust this letter finds you in the best of health and spirits. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lady Esther, a fervent explorer of the world's mysteries and a dedicated enthusiast of the Sword Coast Wonders. The purpose of my correspondence today is to share with you a most thrilling discovery, namely that I have located an active giving crash right here in Faerun. Exciting news, I am sure you will agree. However, the path to this discovery was arduous indeed, and I will and I find that I am rather depleted both in moral reserve and supplies. I am sure that someone in your esteemed position is quite familiar with the difficulty involved in infiltrating such a place, and I humbly beseech you to send forth an advance of coin that I may complete your most noble mission. I eagerly await your response and hope that you will honor my humble request in the service of your seminal work. Yours faithfully, Lady Esther. Up in the boat we go. Who are you? Another who needs to learn the difference between right and wrong. A good Yankee youth. And a familiar one at that. Can it be that this is the one who hatched from the egg you took from the crash? It's nice to see you again. I 
I'm not a good Yankee. Do not call me that. I am Pataris, and I am good. Father was bad. They all were. I tried to make them better, but they were not strong enough. They lacked resolve. What did they do that was so terrible? They did not live up to father's code. Even he did not follow it correctly. He was not righteous. He was not innocent. His thoughts were impure. Fuck. Such evil can only be cured one way. With pain. With torment. And if that does not work. With death. Okay. Are you a good person? I have no one who can me. Okay. Depends on how you define good. There is only one way. The Patarian Code. Do you follow it? We didn't read it. No one code can define goodness. It's impossible. Only a bad person would say that. And that's what you are. I know what you did to me. I see the memory of it. Right there in your head. You stole me from my people. Gave me to that woman. Unhatched. Defenseless, you are bad. You must be taught a lesson. I was flayed already. Probably have some marks. Oh, by the way, you may not want to touch. Well, you would have been destroyed if not for me. I saved you. Trying to save me. I. I don't understand. Father saved me. I was a nasty, evil thing. But his treatments made me good. I. I'm cured. Good people offer forgiveness to those who sin, not death. You're right. You're right. I... I killed him. I killed all these people. I am no better than any of them. The code is flawed. And I am a monster. As he said I was. I cannot be trusted. What have I done? Mm -hmm. Open up. Ooh. Cool thing. For Carla. Cacophony. Quarter stuff. Gale. Scorching ray. Unarmored attacks. No one uses that. Our storied sect requires an object most rare upon our plane, the egg of a Gifianki. The good seer that retrieves this item, which must be in excellent condition, will be rewarded most handsomely. Timeliness is key. Find us in the lodge in Baldur's Gate upon the completi completion of this task. Oh. What have I done? Okay, so he is out of it. Oh, just No traps, please. Hmm. Yeah, I should be covering gold. 
We really need to lots of gold. Okay. But there's the lodge. Now we can get out. Oh my goodness, I'm luck. It's a little bit better when I'm when the camera is flowing. A party. Usually when the game saves on its... Wait. What are you looking at? We're allowed breaks. Contract says so. Okay, I thought you just were mentioning something about the zombie. Smelly zombie. I suppose not. The flowers are so overrated. They're bright, gaudy, and almost never make good poisons. I used to be the scourge of the health. Now flowers can make me cry. Okay. So was that everyone else about you? Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Own, Bye. Although I am right, 